Good morning, YouTube. I am starting another vlog. I went to Carnduff this weekend with Rodeo Dog. So I'm setting up a trade show booth. It's a huge barrel race that's gonna have like over 300 horses and riders there. Like it is gonna be nuts. But it's also my first one of the season. So I have a lot to prep and a lot to get done. So it is Thursday today. We leave tomorrow afternoon. I just finished fueling up my truck. I essentially am gonna have it hooked up to the trailer and now until Sunday. So I have to do all my running around today so that I have free access to my vehicle. And then I just finished getting groceries as well just to have us some snacks, like some protein snacks and waters because we try to eat healthy on the road. It's not always feasible, but we really do try. <laughs> to the store to keep packing. I started packing two days ago on Tuesday. Essentially when we go to these trade show events where we set up a booth and sell product, it takes us a solid week to prepare. But I even like to know about them like months in advance just so I can get staff lined up because we have an actual storefront that always needs to be staffed, let alone um, me getting help from other staff members for the weekend. So yeah, there's just a, there's so much preparation involved uh, for going to a big event like this. So the trailer arrived so we can start loading the grid and displays into the back. So it's a big four horse trailer that we can just put all of our stuff in. It makes it super convenient and that is hoop grip flooring actually, which makes it grippy so our product doesn't slide around. Displays are in. Tomorrow we're gonna load all the product in there. Good morning! It is now Friday morning, which is the day before the event. Well, it's technically move-in day for the contestants. And I'm just getting ready to go to the store. I have the trailer in tow right now. And we just loaded the displays and grid and like racking in the back yesterday. So now we're just loading up all the totes of the product today. And then we're gonna head to Carnduff probably about one o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. And we should theoretically be done setting up by like eight o'clock tonight. So yeah, it's a long time. But anyways, I'll be at the store in a few minutes for us to load the totes and do the last little bit of packing and then we're off. So it is Saturday morning of the event, which is theoretically day number one. It starts at 8 a.m. It is 7.07 .07 right now. We are going to set up the rest of the booth this morning and hopefully have a phenomenal day. <clears throat> my, voice is a <clears throat> my voice is a little haggard because I didn't get a ton of sleep last night. That's kind of trade show life. It's little sleep and extremely long days, but it's always worth it. I mean, if we sell like 15 to 20 thousand dollars today in one day and it'll be absolutely worth it which I think we could definitely do coming to these events and bringing all the product and all the work and all the prep and just all the stress and everything <clears throat> is usually always worth it also I'm sorry I'm talking quietly right now uh, my boyfriend Jeremy is still sleeping I'm in our living quarters trailer right now so we have our living quarters trailer here and then we also have so there's the trade show booth so we also have my four horse trailer that just has a fitting room. We were able to get some stuff done. Uh, that's just like the bones of the booth. And then we were able to set up a bunch of product on the grid. So now this morning, uh, before 8 a.m., we're gonna try to get the rest of the product out. My employee, Rebecca, will be here in four minutes or less. So I just had a couple minutes to kill and figured I would fill you guys in. Also, I am sorry that I didn't vlog setting up what we set up yesterday. Um, it was just basically when we get somewhere, it is like go, go, go. Like it's go to, it's crunch time to get everything set up. It was super hot. We just wanted to get things up and out as fast as possible. So hence why I wasn't able to vlog that, but I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can today.
so it is now Sunday. We got home late last night. We decided to leave a day early, which means we were just open one day, which was Saturday only. So you might be wondering, why were we not there the whole weekend? It's a two day barrel race. Why weren't we there first Sunday as well? It's because I would say like 90% of people come shopping on the first day. Because on the first day, you have your run or runs. And then once you're done, you can't really go anywhere because you still have to run the next day. There's not much to do. So you're gonna come shop. But on Sunday, let's say you had a bad run on Saturday and then you had a bad run again on Sunday. You know that you're not winning any money. What are you gonna do? You're gonna load up and you're gonna go straight home. You don't care about shopping. So that's one of the reasons why we kind of come home early sometimes is because we know that all of our shoppers that really wanted to come see us, they came on the first day. And also we need a break too. We, I mean, I need to take care of my staff. I need to take care of my mental health and physical health as well. And doing these trade shows, it's a lot of work. What you see is kind of surface level. You don't really see the entire behind the scenes because it's impossible to film all of that. Maybe one of these days, I'll try to film as much as possible when it comes to uh, taking a trade show booth somewhere. But yeah, it's just, it's an incredible amount of work. I do dearly love it. It is a passion of mine. I love sales. I love the hustle of it. I love the challenge of it, essentially. So it's always worthwhile. But yes, that's why we came home a day early. And one more reason why we would sometimes come home a day early is the weather. So it's an entirely outdoor booth, which means that if it rains or if it's gonna be a storm or bad winds, then we can't really set up. And we got lucky because it actually rained this morning in Karnda. We got very lucky by packing up last night and coming home last night. So I'm currently leaning against my trailer that's full of Rodeo Dog product in it still. We're at home. I'll just show you what it looks like right now. I haven't looked at it since it's been on the road. Sometimes product tumbles everywhere, but let's take a peek. Okay, these are our tarps, so we have to bring tarps everywhere. I swear we have a small fortune invested just in tarps. Looks like the things didn't mess around too bad. This is our custom built point of sale station. If you ever hear me talk about POS, that means point of sale. So that's what that is. And then all of our totes are back there. Looks like nothing fell over. So we are gonna be unloading this tomorrow uh, at work, at the store. I do always find it kind of strange when I refer to it as work because I do love what I do. I don't always think of it as work. I think of it as my lifestyle because it really is. Jeremy and I always refer to it as our lifestyle store. We don't really see it as just one of the businesses. It's a lifestyle store. By the way, if you like the shirt that I'm wearing, I actually sell it at my store Rodeo Dog. We have a few left. They do fit big. Like I'm actually wearing the extra small and I'm not like an extra small person. So yes, so if you want to have an oversized fit, then wear your normal size. If you want to have a normal fit then size down. Anyways, I think that's it for today's vlog. I don't think I'm gonna bore you guys by filming all the unpacking process. We're gonna be unpacking the store for pretty much all week. But anyways, I really appreciate every like, every subscribe, just everything. I just, I really appreciate so, so much. Thank you for, I guess, embarking on this little YouTube journey with me and I'll see you next time.